Hello there, and today we're gonna be reacting to. I have a perfect memory I can even remember. So this is a, st a true story. I'm pretty sure it is, because I heard that there are some people out there that have like the perfect memory, but apparently it can lead some really bad issues in life. But hopefully. There's, well, there's always going to be some incomes and outcomes, like, what I mean by that is, like, like, bad stuff will happen, but good stuff will also happen, so here we go. And if my, if the veil ever gets cut off, I'll just make another part, okay? Because I want to make sure we watch this full video. Oh, hold on. One second. There we go. Oh, hold on, it's an ad. Hold on a second. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Okay. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, never go into an attic. Even if it's not your attic, never go there. Like, no matter if it's your friend's house, or your cousin, or your brother, or your sister's house. Okay? No matter if, you're, if it's like your nephew, or your niece's house. Never go into an attic that is not yours. Never. Okay, like, I mean, especially if, um, your or the other person's parents, like, don't let their kids go into the attic. Pain in my leg, and I started to cry. 
My parents drove me to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. I said through my tears. It's too bright there. What? I've never been to the hospital, my dad said. No, when we were there before, it was too bright and everything was cold. My dad was very confused. I wasn't no. quite sure how to explain it. It was dark and warm. And then it was like opening a window during a snowstorm. Suddenly it was so white and I was cold. But then mom was holding me. My mom turned to stare at me. Are you talking about when you were born? That must be it. I can remember that moment perfectly. When I moved from the warmth of my mom's belly out into the world. Yes! My mom turned white like a ghost. Do you ever say that again? She said. Nobody remembers when they are born. Lying is wrong. I remember it. I insisted. Stop it right now. My mother shouted. I was hurt and scared, so I stopped talking. The hospital was bright, just like I remembered, but it wasn't that cold. Getting my broken leg put in a cast hurt. I wanted my mom to hold my hand, but I was afraid she was still angry with me. I mostly forgot about the incident for the next few weeks as I struggled to adjust to life with a broken leg. But something had changed. Whenever I told my parents stuff I remembered, they told me I was wrong. No, my mom would say, you weren't wearing the pink dress. You were wearing a green dress that day. It was like they needed to prove to me my memory wasn't perfect. Stop lying, my mom started telling me. You have a serious problem. My dad seemed less angry about it, but he still took my mom's side. This went off. Wait, hold on. So are they doing it? Like, to seem like their child is lying? Like, oh no, you weren't. Um, well, let me think of an example. Like, for example, I'm <laughs> trying to think of some of them right now. Um, you didn't go to prom on a Monday, you went to prom on a Thursday, like that. Like that. Kind of like that. So, yeah, let's get back into it. It was so long, but I started questioning my own sanity. What if all my memories were really just stuff I'd made up? One day, my worst fears became reality. My parents said they were taking me to see a psychiatrist. They said what? I was a pathological liar. And no. My parents had gone from thinking I was a genius to thinking I was crazy. I wanted to run away, but where would I go? So I went with them to a psychiatrist. He listened as my parents described how out of control my lying had gotten. I wanted to scream, to say none of this was true. But when he asked for my side of the story, I was afraid to go against my parents. So I just stayed silent. I had to keep seeing the psychiatrist. He put me on a medication that made me feel drowsy. It also messed with my perfect memory. I started doing badly in school. And worse, I started believing my parents. I was crazy. My no, no, no. Okay, hold on. So maybe it's that the parents don't remember, but she does. But, like, if you have a perfect memory, I'm pretty sure the drugs won't affect your memory. But the thing is, will she regain those memories back? And like, and, like, if your psychiatrist is going to believe your parents like that, like, oh, she's making all this stuff up, and she... Does not know any of this. But, like, they just don't want to deal with the drama that they're dealing with. Like, no, 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 this cannot be real. Our daughter remembers this? No, like, it's like, is this. What? And, like, okay, I don't think a psychiatrist is gonna do this to a kid. But, like, why bring her to a psychiatrist if. She's like, oh, I remember this. Like, I do actually remember quite a few things that happened in the past. Like, I remember some things from, like, years ago. Memories were lies. What if I didn't get better and I had to go to a mental institution? What? I didn't have any siblings to tell whether my childhood memories were real. My mom had always hated having a sister, and she had wanted an only child. So, I was on my own. I became lonely and depressed. By the time I got into high school, I felt like a ghost. I was still on my medication. I was a bad student and I didn't have any friends. But one morning, I forgot to take my pill. I had an amazing day at school. I could actually focus for once and I impressed my teachers with all the stuff I memorized. My speech class, which I had been dreading, went so well. I felt like a new person up in front of the class giving my speech. I didn't need to use my note cards at all. Afterward, the teacher kept me after class. She said I should join the debate team which traveled around competing with other schools in the state. 
She thought it would be good for me. Um, I said, thinking about all the days my pills made me too tired to think, and about the lies my brain kept making up. What if I got up to debate at a competition, and everything out of my mouth was pure BS? I couldn't risk that. I have to go, I said. Then I ran home. But the teacher kept asking me every day, until finally, I agreed to come to a debate club meeting. Before I went, I skipped my pills again. Maybe if I could just think clearly, I would be able to stop myself before I told a lie. I expected all the kids to think I was... Wait, and also, by the way, one second. So, if someone has a perfect memory, does that mean they won't even have to study? They'll just, like, remember, like, oh, wait, this is how you spell ninja, like, N-I-N-J-A. Like, oh, I don't even have to say I just remember it. Like that. Like, how... And why would you do this to your own daughter who remembers stuff? Like, and this is, like, really rare, too. So I can, I guess I can understand why they're doing this. It's because it's super rare. And no one, well, there's only been a few people. I think about, like, 30-ish people have been diagnosed with this. But I forget what's called. The stuff is just new to me, so. I stopped taking my pills altogether. I couldn't tell my parents about my new hobby, so I said I was staying after school for tutoring. At my first match against another school, I felt ready to go out there and win until I saw my opponent. It was my cousin Philip. I barely recognized him. I hadn't seen him since that night I broke my leg. We caught up before the match, and he was nice and fun to talk to. We even watched my story animated together on my phone. Oh. It was time to go on stage. We were all business. It was a tight match. And I could feel the adrenaline rush through me. I did well at first, but then my overactive memory started getting in the way. I would remember things Philip had said to me before the match. A certain way he smiled, and then suddenly, I was remembering things from when we were kids. Focus, I told myself. You can't lose this. At the end, the judge declared me the winner. I was so excited. Where are you going to put your ribbon? Phil asked me afterward. My good mood vanished. I wasn't going to be able to put my ribbon anywhere because if my parents saw, I would be in huge trouble. I don't know, I said. He noticed I was sad and said, it was a good match. Do you feel like going out for ice cream? We did, and we had such a fun evening together. He told me about his plans to study political science in college. Hold on, it's another ad. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. No. I said, even though I knew he was teasing. What a cousin. You should see your face. He was cracking up. You thought I was serious. No, I didn't. Would you do it if I dared you? He asked. We were just kidding around. But I actually was desperate to know how it felt like to kiss somebody. He stuck his lips out, joking, like he was waiting for me to try it. I just no. scare him. I leaned in until my lips were almost against his. Suddenly, we both pulled away and fell backwards, laughing like hyenas. my mouth, he did the same. It was weird, though. I felt such a strange connection to him. Not like a crush exactly, just like we were meant to become friends. Even though it was... We well, yeah, your cousins. ...my best friend. When I got home that night, I was walking on air until I saw my mom waiting for me. No! ...she bottled and battled the pills. Explain this. She sounded furious. You should be almost done with this bottle by right now. We should be calling him for a refill. Why is the bottle full? I thought about making it an excuse. 
but she already thought I was a liar, so I just told the truth. I thought you were getting better, she shouted. But now your lies have reached a whole new level. We'll have to go back to the psychiatrist. Mom, no! I begged. I'm finally happy! I'm so much better when I'm not on the pills. I can think more clearly. The pills help you! She interrupted. They keep your condition under control. I can't believe you do this. Lie about your medication? About where you've been? You're not going back to that club. And you're not going to see Philip ever again! I started crying. Mom, please! You can't take him away from me! I cried so hard, I thought I was going to throw up. All the good things in my life are disappearing. But my sobs brought back a memory from a long, long time ago. I was just a baby in my mother's arms. And I was crying as she took me away from Aunt Judy's house. Crying because I felt like my heart was breaking. My mom grabbed my arm. But then she looked at me and started crying too. She let me go. The sound of us both crying brought the memory back clearer than ever. We were in the car, driving away from Aunt Judy's. But this time, I could see not just her and dad in the front seat, but the empty seat beside me, where a second baby carrier had been just moments before. I what? gasped and stared at my mom. Philip was my brother. <gasps> what? Was too hard to reply. I remember. We were born together. We were born in your arms. And then, stop! The mother screamed. You don't remember that. You can't. But I didn't stop. You drove us both to Aunt Judy's. But you only brought me home. You're a liar. No. I shouted back. I'm not. Suddenly. I heard my dad's voice. It's time to tell her. I looked at him and asked, Tell me what? They told me how my mom had wanted an only child so bad <gasps> when they found out they were pregnant with twins, they made secret arrangements to give one of the babies to Aunt Judy. No! The painful choice made my mom so depressed. She hadn't wanted to see Aunt Judy or Philip ever again. But finally, she couldn't resist. She had to see her other child. So we visited Aunt Judy. But after that night, her guilt got worse. She knew she had to do something to keep me from remembering the truth. I couldn't believe it. My mom's lies had ruined most of my life. But the way she looked at me after she told her story, I knew she'd been hurt too. We both had. I wasn't ready to uh -huh. recover yet, but she promised we'd have a meeting with Aunt Judy and Philip and figure out a way to repair our broken family. I realized then that she truly did love me, even if the weight of her terrible secret had kept her from showing it until now. Oh, uh, that was a good story. Hold on one second. Okay, hold on one second. One second, one second, one second. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, 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 hold on. I know there's another video playing, but I need, hold on one second. Let me just... I need to make sure that I can play, uh, uh, okay. Whew. All right. Now that was, I have proof, Mary, I can even remember. So, now, that turned out to be way darker than I thought. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, yes, like, I passed everything. But, like, no, it just turned out to be darker. But, um, you know, but hit the subscribe button, about to go stick down, comment down below what you want me to react to next. And I promise I'll react to a bunch of other things in the future, okay? And you guys request them, and I can react to them. And sometimes I'll go for, like, my own decisions, like, like stuff, like, I really actually, like, want to watch, like, react to. And then I'll... Pick up some things that you guys want me to watch. And I'll give a shout out to that person who requested the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.